Hello all, welcome to the third session on data structures. Now, this is again a continuation session on arrays. Um, data session three. As usual, we'll go a bit slow so that everyone can grab the content easily. So uh, we have talked about uh, a problem of arrays where we checked whether an array has duplicates or not in the previous session. I hope everyone understood it well. So once you have a good idea about that problem, we can go with the next problem now. So the problem is Find the element which appears maximum number of times in an array. So consider there is an array of thousand elements and elements and some elements repeat. Now we need to find the element which repeats maximum number of things this is what our uh, problem statement is that we need to find uh, we need to find uh, the element which repeats maximum number of times now how to find this again remember when they have not mentioned it sorted or unsorted we have to treat the array is unsorted that means random order so might be uh, look something like this 23, 42, 57, 12, 11, 69, 32. Likewise, many elements are there. Again, a lot of elements. And then again, let's say 42 is repeating. Again, let's say we have 49. Likewise, many elements. Now, in this case, let's say 42 repeats maximum number of times. Let's say, for example, 42 repeats 30 times. Then the answer should be that, okay, the element which repeats maximum number of times is 30. Now, how to approach this problem? First of all, what is the brute force approach? Brute force approach. That means an approach where you do not think about optimization, which is a very simplistic approach, but probably not that much efficient. So as per the brute force approach, what you can do is you can start from the beginning of the array, right? And then this is the first pointer. And then you iterate in a loop to see how many times 23 is there, right? Then that means you have scanned all the elements to find how many times 23 is there. Then similarly do it for 42. For, so for 42 again, you need to check for all the elements in the array. That means again, the complexity, the complexity of this approach is O of n square. It is almost similar to the previous problem that for each element in this array, you have to scan all the elements. That means two for loops will be there. One is the outer for loop, right? Where first of all, the element will be 23 and the inner for loop will iterate for all these elements. Next. In the outer for loop, the element will become 42, which will iterate for again all the elements. So that means for each element, all the other elements have to be scanned, right? So in this case, if there are 1000 elements, in the worst case, we require 10 lakh comparisons in order to check which element is repeating maximum number of times. And this is not a good approach. So how to optimize this? Again, I uh, I can think it that uh, you have gone through the previous video and I think it's based on just the similar concept, the previous thing, brute force approach as well, and even the optimization. So what we can do here is we can think of sorting the array. And we can go with either mud sort or quick sort. So after sorting, our array looks something like this, 23, uh, sorry, 11, 12, 23, right? 
and then uh, we have 32 right 42 42 42 and likewise so we might have 49 after that 49 let's say repeating two times and uh, 57 just an example i'm not checking with the previous array think it it is this way now when you do sorting it comes with a cost and the quickest sorting algorithms comes with a cost of order of n log n right so after sorting we get it this way and the already time spent is order of n log now don't you feel after sorting all the elements which are repeating will be together yes you see if 42 is there three times all 42 elements will be consecutive to each other so what we can do in the next step is we can iterate from the starting till the end and we can count the occurrences for example in a single pass or in a single scan of this array we will be able to tell 11 is one time in a single pass right 12 is one time 23 is one time 32 is one time 42 is three times 49 is two times and likewise so you see not much of effort is required just a single pass through this array is required that means to calculate now which element is repeating maximum times an additional effort of order of n is required right so additional effort required is a single pass through the array and the time complexity will be order of n so to solve this problem don't you feel that you have done two steps sorting plus finding the answer so sorting comes with order of n log n and finding the answer comes with again order of n and again you can see that n log n will be bigger than n so n can be ignored and this will be almost similar to order of n log n so the time complexity to find which element repeats maximum number of times is order of n log n and this is almost similar to the previous problem we have done in the previous video right so i hope you are all clear with this the brute force approach we were getting complexity of order of n square however with this optimized approach by sorting we are getting the complexity of order of n log n